It's your friendly neighborhood joker here. <laughs> You know, I only come out when anarchy happens, <laughs> when a plan does not go when it's go as way it's supposed to, when a plan goes awry. <laughs> you know, the plan was, you know, last night was uh, UFC 258 Usman versus Burns, and the plan was Burns was supposed to be Usman, but that didn't happen either. He got KO'd with a uh, a jab. <laughs> the next big plan was the co-main event was the return of Macy, the future barber. Well, she's not much of the future. She's more of the past. <laughs> and her opponent was Alexa Grosso for Mexico, you know. And Alexa, you know, everybody was, everybody was overlooking Alexa. You know, Macy was even overlooking Alexa. She was looking past opponent. That's the thing is, you never look past that opponent. You always come to a fight or swing. You might win. You might lose. But you never look past an opponent. And you may see, after being gone for a year, after what happened to her, getting smacked up by Grandma Mata Ferry. <laughs> Mind me a time when my mama used to beat me with a with the uh, with that with that uh, with that switch. <laughs> Like watching a little kid getting beat by one of the by beating be, being beat by one of the um older folks. <laughs> and look at that young ass getting carried off by the walking coma um Ben Askren. <laughs> but Macy came back and she's running all over, talking all this yin yang, saying, Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat Alexa. I'm going to get Alexa. I'm going to go with Dua. And then I'm going to call out. I'm going to call out. <laughs> Do you ever have a plan, Macy? Do you have a plan? No, Macy. You never had a plan. Like I said, you were just a dog chasing cars. <laughs> you know, you're thinking that's your time. No, it's not your time. You're only 22 years old. You're a young pump. Wet behind your ears. Breast smell like Similac. You were brought into the, the UFC too soon. You should have been an Invicta. You mean brought along slowly and surely. You weren't ready for the big time girl. Just a couple of knockouts, a couple of KOs, calling out Paige Van Kant. Doesn't make you a next big star. Nah, I Macy, mean, you weren't ready. But Alexa, she's been through some things. She took some weapons. She has some weapons to the best. She's been drugged. She's been beaten. She's been brutalized. But she's still standing. Anyway, these two young lions faced off, and this was the fight of the century. Some people were having it, you know, Macy being a top dog, winning. And, you know, and the fight was on. And the plan was like this. This was the plan, that Macy was going to win and represent America. America beautiful, America the brave. <laughs> and Macy was putting up a good fight for a good bit. Yeah, she was showing her skills. Anyway, she was going back and forth with Alexa. Hey, Macy, let me show you a little trick. <laughs> yeah, Alexa, come from Lobo Jim, the wolf. That Spanish wolf Lobo. You know, and she knows how to fight. Alexa's a boxer, not a brawler. A boxer knows how to use her brains, knows how to use her skills. And she knows how to put on her ass whooping. <laughs> Poor Macy. She didn't know what to do. <laughs> she was taking a beating. <laughs> no, she was taking another beating like she was. She was taking the woodshed like my grandma Mother Fairy did. <laughs> At the end, Alexa, you won. Now nah, you won. <laughs> You broke the hearts of a lot of people betting on um, Macy Barber. Poor old Dana. Daddy Dana, 
another one of the prospects lost. <laughs> and oh, and uh, Lex is a, a daddy, his dumb ass. And even as a while back, um, some fools threatened my man, my friend, my friend, my very good friend, Coach Jen Harrison, Alexa's cousin. You said my friend, Coach. Be careful about saying my friend, the coach. Don't worry about me, I have to go juggle her. Be careful. The joy will come up on you. Yes. Don't speak of my friends again. And uh, Alexa represented the Lobo Gym. And even in Mexico. <laughs> but Alexa, the mic was put to your face. You want to call out somebody, Alexa. Call out somebody. Say something. Say something. Say something. No, you didn't. Lexa, you can't be, you know, tender, can't be tender-tailed. You can't be afraid to call out. Jojo told him call wood. But you know what, why would Jojo? You're too scared, Jojo. You're just scared to pull it. That I think is coming for you, Jojo. <laughs> that I think is coming. <laughs> so what's going to happen to you, Lexa? You may have no choice. The UC is going to throw some points at you. Who's it going to be? It's going to have to be probably Jessica Evil Black Eye. Why? Because even though I'm not a fan of Evil Black Eye and her pancake ass, you know why they're going to pick her? Because she knows how to use my skills. She knows how to use her mouth other than just talking. <laughs> and there's also Sitha Cavillo. Sitha Cavillo also has a way with words. Yeah, if she's not smoking weed. <laughs> hey, Cynthia, you know weed's legal now. <laughs> so, Alexa, you have no many choices. If you don't speak up, there's that old saying, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. So those are the only two opponents you really have to look forward to facing. And to Macy, little girl, you weren't ready. You were never ready. Take your young ass back to Colorado. Eat some cakes. Have some babies. Get out of them um, in May. You know, we are gonna, we're not going to hear your daddy say, Macy didn't lose. Macy didn't lose. Macy lost. Macy's never been ready for the UFC. She's not ready for this show. Take her ass to Anna Victor or back to LFA. Don't take your advice from the Joker. Listen to the... You never had a plan. Understand. This is a big show for you, little girl. You weren't ready. So take your young tenderoni ass back and start from the beginning. And Alexa, grow some balls. Say something. Say something. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> take some advice to the man, the Joker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and to my all you subscribers out there, like, don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.